One mechanic I love in games is inventory systems. I feel as though when done correctly and in the right genre, resource management adds a whole new layer to the way players go about playing a game. You need to balance items such as weapons, armor, ammo, and food to ensure that you have the best chance of survival. I've personally never created an inventory system before and I really wanted one in this game, so I thought I'd make one. The first thing I had to decide on was what type of inventory system I wanted to create and how I wanted it to look visually in terms of the user interface layout. I knew from the get go that I didn't want the game to have any type of hotbar, as I don't really like them. I feel as though they end up being visual clutter on the screen if they're too big, or they just get lost in the gameplay if they're too small. So I decided to opt in for an inventory system found in games like Escape from Tarkov, as well as many other survival games. Having played Tarkov in the past, I gathered that it would be a fairly advanced inventory system to create. So I jumped into the project and started working on the UI elements. I downloaded a bunch of placeholder art assets so I wasn't just looking at blank sprites and blocked everything out. And let me tell you, this was a mind numbing task as I'm not a fan of creating UI. But after all that was done, I jumped into the actual code. I started off by creating an abstract item class, which was a scriptable object to hold all of the generic data about these items, such as the item type and what slot in the inventory that item could be placed in. This was essentially the parent scriptable object that all the other items would derive from. I then went on to create a scriptable object class for every item type, with some variables unique to each item. These are all very bare bones at the moment, but once the inventory system's core functionality is in and all working correctly, I'll change and tweak these variables to better fit my game. After this was set up, I created yet another class which would hold the item's data for when it was actually in the inventory. This holds data about the specific item, if that item is rotated or not, as well as its matrix position. For this, I did a bit of research into matrix notation and would use that to figure out where in the inventory grid this item was positioned. Now that all of the backend code was done, the final thing I needed to do before starting on more of the actual UI functionality was to create some sort of spawn manager to spawn loot in chests depending on the item's frequency. And this turned out to be way more complex than I anticipated. I had to loop through all of the positions in the grid's matrix and check if the item would fit based on its cell size. I then created a bunch of items to test it out and it works well. As you can see here, when I run the game, all the containers are populated with loot and all of their data is nice and accessible for me to see. And then I got to work on the inventory manager, which is essentially a script that manages the inventory. This is the script that when paired with the UI manager would take all of the items that I just showed you in that list and display them on the UI, just like this. Next up was getting all of the drag and drop functionality working. And oh boy, was this a beast to get done. As I mentioned previously, I don't really enjoy working with UI and have never really tackled drag and drop behaviors before. So naturally, this turned into an absolute nightmare that took me a few days to get working correctly. But I managed to get it done. It was all working as intended. But there were still a few small bugs, but I can come back to those later. I really just wanted to work on getting the core functionality in and playable. The last thing to add to the inventory system was to add a little tooltip to the items. So the player could see things such as the item's name and what the item actually did, whether it was give the player health or a speed bonus. This was a pretty quick implementation and I'm really happy with the results. I'm really keen to give this UI a look of its own once I start adding my own art to the game along with items that are more unique to my game. But that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.